Only on News 5, being diagnosed with a life-threatening disease can be a lot to process. On top of the initial shock and concern, there can be confusion about the medicine you need to take to keep your illness in check. That's the truth. And now a first-of-its-kind program helping pharmacists care for a lot of their patients by sending them into their homes to help. News 5's Mike Brookbank joined us from the Tech Center. And Mike... This is really changing up how folks manage their health. Yeah, Frank, we've all been there, confused about what pill to take when, and if there are multiple medications, the confusion can just be crippling and potentially deadly. Yeah. Brian Fox takes a lot of pills. I can't, can't count them all. The medications help with a number of issues. My mental health and my physical health. Over the years, Fox, like many patients, has struggled with consistency. I forget to take them, then when I take them, I uh, increase them. I mean, I overdose on them. Now, thanks to the first of its kind program in the country, okay. Fox is on track. So how'd everything go with your meds this week? Lauren Miller, a traveling pharmacist with the Center for Families and Children, checks in on Fox at his Parma home twice a month. That one you have to take twice a day, every day, no matter what. Miller not only answers questions about medications, she keeps track of her client's overall health. If you're going to eat a lot of carbs with dinner, try not to eat the sweet afterwards. Unlike a traditional pharmacy, I mean, you have 400 prescriptions in the queue and you have 30 minutes to fill them all. This program gives Miller the time to get to know her patients. We're just able to go into the home, build relationships, build trust, and you know help them with these things that are very challenging for them every day. Brian's mom, Peggy, has noticed a huge difference. He takes his medicine more regular. He takes his readings like he's supposed to. Both she and her son appreciate the extra care and accountability. It's a lot better than going to a pharmacist. And right now there are about 10 traveling pharmacists visiting up to 80 homes a week here in Northeast Ohio. Their clients are underserved patients and typically rely on Medicare or Medicaid. Reporting from the Tech Center tonight, Mike Brookbank, News 5.